Daily Gospel Reflection with uh, Father Jack. Friends, brothers and sisters, nothing can stop God's plan for your life. Reflect and be blessed. Good day, my dear brothers and sisters. Today is July 22nd, 2020. And today we celebrate the Feast of Mary Magdalene and today also is Wednesday of the 16th week in Ordinary Time. And our Gospel for today is from the account of John chapter 20 verses 1 to 2 and from verses 11 to 18. Why are you weeping? Why are you sad? Why are you crying? Today, the Gospel is reminding us that the time of tears is over. Crying is over. Pain is over. Difficulties is over. Friends, brothers and sisters, whatever sorrows we have in life today, when we encounter the Lord, our sadness will be turned into joy. You know what? Jesus is the only person that can stop us from crying. Today, my dear friends, stop weeping. Stop being sad. Stop your tears to flow because sorrow is. Grief is only for the dead and Jesus is not dead. Rejoice for the crucified, the risen, and the ascended Savior will turn our sorrows into hope. He will change our mourning into rejoicing. And we must look to God, not at our disappointments. Today, I encourage myself and you guys, put period to your sorrows. Put an end to your grievance. Put an expiration date to all the things, experience, memories that makes you sad. As we celebrate the Feast of Mary Magdalene, we are challenged to spread the good news about Jesus in the midst of our sorrows, in the midst of our pains, in the midst of our difficulties, in the midst of this pandemic. Friends, the time to tell the good news has come. I have seen the Lord was the remark of Mary Magdalene. Today, take a moment And ask yourself, when was the last time you experienced the presence of Jesus? Friends, my dear brothers and sisters, I believe that when we encounter the Lord, when we encounter the living Lord, we need to tell others this good news. When we felt the presence of God, you know what? We cannot contain it ourselves. And you know, we don't need to be told to evangelize. Today, like Mary... I pray that our sorrows and pains in life will not be a hindrance for us to become an evangelizers. Like Mary Magdalene, may we can lead others to Jesus so that they can experience His love and forgiveness too. Dear friends, do not let your past dictate what you are, but let it be a lesson that strengthens the person you will become. We are not defined by our past. Mary Magdalene has a horrible past, but this does not hinder her to become an effective evangelizer. When we encounter the Lord, He will erase our past and because we don't live there anymore. But the friends, my dear brothers and sisters, let us ask the intercession of the blessed, I mean St. Mary Magdalene, to help us to become an ev- effective evangelizers. St. Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Amen.